Sorry, girl, I gotta go. Yeah, you know this ain't the old me. Try to keep it on the low. What is going on, everyone? This is Fenzo, and we have the expert walkthrough ready for the Pacific Cup tournament. In this video, I tell you my exact adjustments. If I do something right, I tell you what I did. If I do something wrong, I tell you what I would do different. Before we get started, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and it helps me out a lot. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Turn the notification bell on so you can see updated shots throughout the week. In this video, I'm using, you know, anywhere from extra mile to an APOC. I do tell you what different clubs you can use. I use a Kingmaker as my standard ball, except for home one, I think I use a gridiron ball, but you can use a Berserker. You don't have to use special balls in this playthrough, so hopefully it helps you. Once again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section or hit me up on Messenger, GC Space Menzel, and I will see you all later in the week. Good luck in the tournament, and let's get started. All right, we're on hole number one in the expert division. And we're going to use a power five ball here. I'm going to go max right. Let's try five top. And we need about three rings of OP here. So we're going to do plus 15% at max. It's going to be 5.7 rings. And then I'm going to push up three rings. to use a little bit of counter curl just in case and we'll see how this one comes in a little close probably gonna push up a little bit more but nice and safe for an easy eagle hopefully this helps you let's move on to hole number two what is going on everyone this is Fenzel and we have an APOC 5 plus option for people and expert for hole one so here i'm going to use a gridiron ball you can use a you know zerk it doesn't matter we're going to use six bars of top spin as much right spin as we're allowed zerk use full uh side spin to the right and here we're going to try and get our last bounce on the rough line here and we're going to see how many rings we go into op so how many rings go past that red line and then after we do our plus 15% at max adjustment, we're going to push up that amount of rings. So we make our adjustment and then we push up 1.5 rings. And then we're going to take our shot and here you see me add a little bit of curl because I'm lacking the side spin. And I like the lower wind here uh, because it doesn't give us as big of a push as if we had a higher wind using a Zerk. But as you can see, comes in very nice. Almost get the hole in one. So this is an APOC option. So let's move on to hole number two. All right, we're on hole number two in the expert division. And let's see what options we have here. Let's go five top, three left. And we need about four rings of push up after we adjust. So we're gonna do plus 10% at max. It's gonna be 9.2 rings. And then we're gonna push up about 4.2 rings. A little bit of left curl. The reason why I'm using a QB is because it's more accurate here. So if we hit great left or right, we should be okay. And it comes in nice and should set us up for our second shot. So we're going to write down our yardage, which is 355. And let's go on to our second shot. All right, so we're on hole number two in the expert division. And here we're going to use our APOC. You can use an EM8, um, Thor's hammer. You're just going to be set up a little bit differently, but we're going to use three top spin, max left spin with the APOC level six. And then we want to be at the plus 13 yard mark with half the blue ring in the rough. And as you can see, I'm going to notate my second bounce being on that light and dark line right there. The only thing I would change is I would be at the plus 13 yard mark right after it, it changes from plus 14 to 13. I was at the beginning of plus 12 going into plus 13 because we're going to get kind of a dead bounce here 
And then I'm going to use slight baby curl. It's not necessary, but just in case we hit that great right. As you can see, we're coming nicely. We're looking for around 352 to do no spin, but here we land at 345. So we're going to have to add a bar of top spin. So let's go on to that second shot. All right, so we're on our second shot for all number two, and I just want to let you know. So from 352, you're going to do no spin with the sniper level 10. And then from 352 with the sniper level nine, you're going to add about a half a bar of top spin. Here I land at 345, so I'm going to put one bar of top spin, and we're going to adjust from our max distance in our club. We want the ball guide to be about two squares short of the hole and aimed right at the pin. And we want to do a plus 15% at max adjustment. So as you can see, I add enough top spin, so it's just before the pin. Because if you have the ball guy going to the pin, you're going to come in way too hot. And then we're going to push our rings instead of pulling so we don't have to deal with these trees. Remember, it's a plus 15% max adjustment on this second shot. You do hit great left, but you'll still get an idea of how this shot is going to work. It's still coming close. Perfect would have been interesting. I did add a little bit of left curl and I did not mean to. So definitely keep that in mind and pay attention not to do that. But this is how I'm going to play hole number two. I gave a QB option as well. So let's move on to hole number three. All right. So for hole number three, we're going to be using a sniper level nine or 10. And we're going to be using a kingmaker. We're going to do max backspin. And then we want the ball guide going through the hole. When we make our initial adjustment. And you should have the ball guy going through the hole, but left edge. Um, that's what I was told, the mistake that I made on this shot. And then after we have the ball set up, we're going to do one and a half right spin. And then we're going to adjust plus 20% at max for this shot. So I believe my ring pull was 10.1 rings for this wind. I want to make sure that ball guide center we hit perfect now we are going to come into the right side here the one thing that i need to change that i said is we just need to aim left edge and this ball should come in at a better angle but this is how we're going to play hole number three this works with the sniper level nine and ten uh hopefully this helps you let's move on to hole number four all right so hole number four in the drive we're gonna bounce over this first bunker and we're gonna do plus 20 percent at mid distance in our club so we're gonna add our top spin we're gonna go about five and a half top and three right spin and it shows it on here so i do aim at the plus one yard mark with the em or with the apoc six i did use the em8 and got the same result we are looking for a yardage between 347 and 350 yards on the drive. So we hit great left, but we're still gonna be okay. Like I said, this shot works with a extra mile and a APOC. And we're gonna drive the ball 348 yards. So let's move on to our second shot. So from 347 to 348, I've dialed this one in to be plus 10% at 60% slider. We're going to do three left spin and one back spin. And then we're going to have the ball guide favoring left of center. It took me a couple tries to dial this in with the right slider adjustment, but I've been hitting this drive consistent. Um, I would probably say just for a rule of thumb for every yard plus or minus, from 347 to 348, just take off 1% on your slider. Try to pull as close to noon as possible. We hit perfect. And we bounce nice and dead center for the eagle. I really like this play. I'm going to stick with it. I know there's a rough bump option, but I don't like rough bumps and tailwind. So hopefully this helps you. Let's move on to hole number five. All right, I'm going to start this recording a little bit early because I want to just tell you the adjustment. So the adjustment here is plus 30% mid. And I want to explain what I'm going to change here. So we're going to do five backspin and three left spin to start. And we are going to have the blue ring 
touching the top part of that first bunker. And then we want to notate the tip of the ball guide with three spin added. We want that tip to be just inside the light square line off of the dark line. And then from this position, I would take off a half a bar to a bar of side spin. So go to two and a half to two bars of left spin instead of three. And then we want to pull plus 30% mid at a noon favoring 1201 pull. Now I've been getting really close with this adjustment. I feel like I just need to take some side spin off and we could have this one dialed in. As you can see, we're coming at a perfect speed, just missing to the left. Taking off that side spin will help. This is how I'm gonna play hole number five. Let's move on to hole number six. What's going on everyone? We're on hole number six of the expert division and here we're gonna play plus 10% at max. We're gonna do five left spin and I do five and a half top here, but I'm gonna reduce that to five top spin just so I don't flirt with this glitchy rollout that I've been getting hitting great left. So it doesn't show here, but we start at the plus three yard mark with half the blue ring in the rough on the left hand side. Now you can play this shot with the EM7, 8, uh, Thor's hammer. The only difference is that your plus yardage start is going to be different. But you're still going to do plus 10% at max. Uh, still the same spins. We're going to have the ball half in the white circle there for our curl reference. And then we're going to write down our yardages here. So I'm going to land 374 yards, I believe. And we're going to write this down and let's move on to the second shot. Okay, so for our second shot, we're going to do about 0.3 top spin and two left spin. And we want to offset our ball guy just left of the cup. Our left edge, I would say. Now, I don't use enough top spin. I should have used a little bit more. And this was the first time I hit this yardage. So I played no elevation at 71% slider. I probably should have went about 78% slider or no offset. But the reference here is for every yard plus or minus from the distance, you're gonna take off 2% of your slider. And we come in very close. Like I said, it was the first time I hit the yardage, but this is how I'm gonna play hole number six. Hopefully these adjustments help you. Let's move on to hole number seven. All right, so for hole number seven, we're going to do a plus 10% at max adjustments. And I'm going to use the extra mile eight because it sets me up for a perfect distance here. And I'm going to do full top and as much right as possible, which is five bars to the right. And I'm going to push up. I'm into overpower, but you can't see it. But I want my landing area to be up there. And I push it up and then I adjust my ring. So that's where I want to land. Then I adjust my plus 10% at max. And then any amount that I'm still in overpower, I'm going to use that slight OP. Then we have the left side of the ball halfway in the circle with curl. We hit perfect. And we are looking for yardages between 395 and 400. So let's see where this one comes in. So we're at 397. So let's see if we can dial in that yardage. All right, so from 397, we're going to do no elevation and we're just going to use our slider here. So we're going to go 60% club and we're going to do 2.5 backspin and a sliver or left spin. We're going to aim at the edge of the fringe line here, closer to the green. You kind of see that little glitch bounce. We want the ball guide center of the hole. And then from this distance, from 395 to 400, we're seeing that 60% slider with no elevation is hitting consistent. The only thing is, it seems like the further back your drive is, the less you have to adjust. And it, it, it's really weird. It should be the opposite. But as you can see, we come in nice, get the eagle, and we're still going to dial in some yardages, but 395 to 400 is no elevation, 60% slider. Hopefully this helps you, and let's move on to hole number eight. All right, everyone, we're on hole number eight in the expert division, and here we're going to use a QB level nine or 10. We're going to go plus 5% at min here. We're going to do all the right spin but one and 0.5 backspin, so half a bar. We're going to line up at the exact min line here, and we're going to have the red ring touching the rough on the left-hand side, as you can see, so a very easy setup. 
Remember, plus 5% at min, and we're going to pull 1201 here. So we pull our 1201. Make sure our ball is center. We do hit great left. But you'll still see how close this one comes in. So it's just going to give you an example on how to set this one up. We're super close. Perfect would have been close. Uh, people have confirmed hitting this shot with this adjustment. So hopefully this helps you. Now let's move on to hole number nine. All right, so for hole number nine, we are going to use an APOC. You can use an extra mile A+. plus. If you don't have that, I would recommend using a power four ball. But we're going to use five and a half top. As much right spin as possible. We're going to have the red ring touching the rough on the right. And then we're going to notate our second bounce here. Just try and kind of estimate how far it is away. It's not super important. But we're going to adjust no elevation at mid distance here. And I would definitely recommend bringing a big dog or a cat, depending on what you have. And then we're going to have the left side of the ball halfway in the white ring here as our curl reference. And as you can see with the great left, we're still okay. And we're going to roll down there nicely. Safe distance from the rough. And then this will set us up for a nice second shot. All right, so for the second shot, I'm going to be bringing my cat or my big dog. If you use a power four, you might be able to get away with using your sniper. So from here, I'm adjusting plus 10% and then whatever distance of my club I'm in. And spin is going to be dependent on how far you drive your ball. So here I'm going to add no spin. I might start adding like a half of our left spin or adjusting plus 15% of where I'm in my club. Because as you can see, I'm at mid distance and I adjust plus 10 at mid numbers, but I'm still going to miss just right of the pin. So that wind push needs to be offset somehow. So either we can add elevation to our adjustment or we can add some left spin. Or we can just offset all together, but I don't like offsetting. That landing spot is pretty flat. So we can manipulate the wind push with elevation with no offset or just adding some left spin. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video helps you. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and as much appreciated. Good luck this week. If you have any questions, please hit me up on Messenger GC, GC Space Benzel or tune in to the stream later in the week for different adjustments. Thank you so much for watching.